Welcome back to the No Bullshit Guide to Java Spring Boot Part 3. Today we cover exception handling. As of right now, we are not correctly handling the error state, so if we can't find a product, we're returning null. What we want to do is to send a useful message back to the UI. So the simplest thing we could do is just return a response entity with a status of not found, but this doesn't work across our entire application because sometimes we're returning void, but sometimes we're returning a product DTO. So instead, we use a pattern like this. If it gets to the end, that means it was not successful, so we'll throw a new runtime exception. So that alone is the basic premise of this video. If you can't find it, throw an exception. The rest of this video is really just layers of abstraction that go on top of it. So there are two different paths you can go down for your abstraction. Path one is using Spring Boot's built-in error response. So anytime a runtime exception is thrown, Spring Boot sends this as the response. And we can modify this to include whatever message we want and the status code. So make your way over to the delete product service class. And instead of returning null, we're going to throw new runtime exception. And I'm going to pass in the message of product not found. Now, if I make my way over to Postman and try to find an entity that doesn't exist, I'll get Spring Boot's default error message. Now, if I want that message that I passed into my exception to be sent back in the response, the first thing I'll need to do is make your way over to the application.properties file and paste this in. Server.error.include message equals always. Now, when I reboot the project and ping it again, you can see that the message I passed in was added to the response body. And if you make your way over to the console, you'll also see the runtime exception here with the message. Okay, so here comes another layer of abstraction. Instead of copying and pasting this runtime exception everywhere, I wanna have this all in one place so I can just throw one exception and it always does the right thing. So I'm gonna create a new package called exceptions. And then I'm going to create a new Java class called product not found exception. And this is going to extend the runtime exception. Generate your constructor. And you want to make a call to super. And this is where we're going to pass in our message of product not found. Now, instead of throwing a new exception every time and passing in that message, I'm going to directly throw new product not found exception. If I ping it again, I get the exact same thing. But if you notice, the status is not correct. This should be a 404 not found. Instead, it's a 500 internal server error. So the way we can control that is by annotating our product not found exception with at response status, and we pass in our status code. Now when we ping it, we get a 404, and the first error says not found. So now let's run around our application and add our product not found everywhere that it makes sense. So in our get product service, we'll throw a new product not found exception. For our get product service, that doesn't make any sense because if we can't find any, we should just return an empty list. So we'll leave this one the same. And then we will throw it for our update product service. The last thing I like to do is just make an enum. That way all of my error messages can be in the same place. So this is not required, and if you're not familiar with enum, you can just chat GPT it and learn it really quickly. But the idea is I want all of my error messages to be in the same place. That way if I reference it once, then I can update it everywhere. Okay, so if you're happy with Spring Boot's default error response, you're good to go. You can just follow this pattern and move on. However, there is another path where you can build your own custom response, where you can only put the exact things you want in the error message. We're going to need a model class to represent this JSON structure, and then we're going to need a handler that fires every time that exception is thrown. And the handler is what actually returns the response back to the UI. And there's two ways to do this. So one is at the controller level, where if that exception is thrown in the controller, then you handle it there. Or you can abstract that out and make it global. That way it works across all controllers. So first off, let's create a new model class. I'm going to call it error response. I'm going to annotate it with at getter. 
and it will have one field, private string message, and a constructor that takes in the message and sets it. And of course, you can make your error message as big or as small as you want with as many properties as you want. Next, go to your controller, and we're going to add a new method. Public response entity, it returns an error response called handle product not found exception. And we pass in a product not found exception. We're going to annotate it with at exception handler and tell it to handle a product not found exception dot class. Then every time it catches one, it is going to return response entity dot status. We'll pass in our status. And then the body is going to be a new error response. And this is where we pass in exception dot get message. Restart your project, ping it again, and now you'll see your custom error response. The last thing we can do is we can take this out of the controller and instead put it at the global level. So in the exceptions folder, I'm going to create a new class called global exception handler, and I'm going to annotate it with at controller advice. I'm going to cut our exception handler method we just created from our controller and paste it in this class. And this will work the exact same way. And as you add more exceptions, you can keep handling them here. Okay, and one more quick note. If you prefer to use annotations, you can extract out response status and annotate your method. And you can do the same thing with at response body. So this is the exact same code, just written in a slightly different way. Okay, I'll see you in the next one.